Unit 7, Section 2, Growth of Big Business. The late 19th century was known as the Gilded Age. It's known as the Gilded Age because gilded means like gold. So for outsiders looking at our economy, the United States economy in the late 19th century, everything looked golden. Everything looked like it was going real well. But that was misleading because 90% of the nation's wealth was controlled by 3% of its population. And that's not good. An example of this is a group known as the robber barons. The robber barons were led by very rich men like John D. Rockefeller. John D. Rockefeller at the end of his life was worth about $500 million, which is well into being a billionaire if you account for inflation today. He led a corporation known as Standard Oil. And Standard Oil Company controlled 90% of the oil production in our country. He did this in two different ways. Um, like the other robber barons, he used what's called horizontal, and he also used vertical integration. Horizontal integration is easy to explain. It's just where uh, when one company takes over all the other companies in that industry. Vertical integration is also easy to explain because basically what a robber baron does is they control the whole means of production from the ground up. So in this picture here, you'll see that Rockefeller would own the land. He would own, of course, the oil that was in that land. He would, he would own the wells. He would own the trucks that carried the oil to the refineries. He would own the refineries, the factories, and in most cases, he owned gas stations where the, after the oil had been uh, refined to gasoline, uh, that it would be sold in his gas station. So uh, the guy controlled every aspect of the production of gasoline. These robber bears led to a new business practice called monopolies and trusts. Monopoly and trust, for our purposes in regular U.S. history, means the same thing. What does it mean? It means when one business controls an entire industry. So we have an example here of John D. Rockefeller Standard Oil. You have uh, Andrew Carnegie and U.S. Steel. Today, you would have uh, if Home Depot drove Lowe's out of business, and that would, in Ace Hardware, that would be an example. If Verizon drove AT&T and T-Mobile out of business, that would be an example. Those are all examples of monopolies and trusts. This concludes Unit 7, Lesson 2, The Growth of Big Business and the Robber Barriers.